Hey folks, in today's Wrath of Math lesson, I've got a nice and easy analysis proof for you that'll help us practice our understanding of some basic definitions. So let A be a subset of the real numbers with some element M that is the maximum of A. It's greater than or equal to all elements of A. We want to prove that this maximum element M is the supremum of A. So it's equal to our abbreviation sup A. Remember the supremum of a set is the least upper bound. So to prove that M is the supremum of A, we need to show that M is an upper bound, which means it's greater than or equal to all elements of A. And we need to show that it's the smallest upper bound, so that there's no upper bound smaller than M or less than M, which can be shown easily in this case by contradiction. So we'll see that it's nice and easy. Now, I want to point out, suppose we've got a real valued function, right? Consider its range. So it's uh, so the image of the domain, all the elements that get mapped to by the function. Its range is a subset of the real numbers if we're talking about a real valued function. So this proof will apply just as well to a function. If a function takes on some maximum value, that's the supremum, and this proof is sufficient to show that. If we wanted to prove it, you know, while talking about functions, it would be the same exact thing, just with some more cumbersome notation. So I hope that makes sense. And uh, if it doesn't, you can, of course, ask for clarification in the comments as always. But it's nice to work with, you know, the simplest notation necessary. In this case, we can just talk about a set. All right, easy peasy. Let's just get into it. Be done in like two minutes. So M is the maximum of A first. To show that M is the supremum, the first thing we got to do is show that M is an upper bound of A. In this case, that's completely trivial. We could just say, notice M is greater than or equal to X. Actually, let's say M is greater than or equal to little a for all elements of the set big A. How do we know that? Well, that's by definition, by definition of max, by definition of maximum. I'll just put max. M is the maximum of A. So by definition, M is greater than or equal to every element of the set A. Okay, then we just need to show that any other upper bound can't possibly be less than M. So let's use a contradiction argument for that. Let's say, suppose for contradiction, SFC, there exists some other number that we'll call, let's call it M prime. Suppose for contradiction that there exists M prime that's less than M because we want to show that M is the least upper bound. So for contradiction, we're going to suppose there exists a smaller upper bound. So suppose for contradiction, there exists M prime that's less than M such that M prime is greater than or equal to A, little a, for every little a in the set big A. This immediately produces a contradiction. All right, now just before we point out the contradiction, you might have wanted to write here, uh, suppose for contradiction, there exists a real number, m prime, that's less than m, but you know, we all know we're talking about real numbers. So, so what's the contradiction? Well, we suppose that m prime was greater than or equal to every element of big A, but we also suppose that it's less than M. That was our contradiction assumption. And by definition of the maximum of A, which is what M is, M is an element of A. The maximum of A has to be in A. And of course, our contradiction assumption was that M is greater than M prime. So we see, in fact, M prime is not greater than or equal to A for every A for every element, little a in big A. And what's that? That's a contradiction. That's a contradiction. Spell it as quick as I can. Contradiction. And so clearly this can't be true. So in fact, there is no upper bound that's less than M. That's what we supposed, which led to a contradiction. Thus, we can, well, I don't even need to write it again. Thus, we can conclude, indeed, that's the proof, M, the maximum, is equal to the supremum of A. Kind of like that, that sort of bold stroke you get, you know, when you hold the, the marker flat against the board. Wonderful. Okay, so that's the proof. If we've got a real valued set and some maximum of the set, that's got to be the supremum. So similarly, we can extend this to functions whose ranges are also just sets, just subsets of the real numbers if we're talking about real valued functions. So if a set, if a function, excuse me, takes on a maximum value, that's the supremum of the function. 
Wonderful. So I hope this video helped you understand this little proof. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, need anything clarified, or have any other video requests. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time, and be sure to subscribe to the swankiest math lessons on the internet.